Hey, what's going on, people? It's Guns Ferrari from Next Gen Tactics, and this is actually my very first MOAB or Mother of All Bombs. I'm using the MK14 uh, with silencer and rapid fire with the uh, proficiency of dual, obviously, attachments or whatever, so I can have the two on it. Even with the uh, rapid fire, I don't find I'm not really pleased with the uh, the semi-automatics. I mean, there's only one in this game, and I figured they would have made it beast so that I could, you know, use my trigger finger and really take advantage of this uh, two-shot weapon. You know what I mean? This assault rifle. It's a two-shot kill. So I mean, I thought, man, you know, I put rapid fire in this. I'm gonna be able to beast on these guys. But of course, I just have to sort of suck it up, more or less, and. I think pretty much if I remember this game correctly because I was concentrating my the whole purpose was okay listen I'm gonna get one of those MOABs all the other guys have already gotten them so I might as well get one get it under my belt and move from there so what I'm doing here is I'm holding or I'm staying in an area that I know all entrances and exits you know I come in here for a little bit but for the most part I stay in that area there only because I know how people enter I know where the spawn points are and you know it makes it easier for me to maneuver around now some may even call that camping which is just ridiculous and if you call that camping well you're just stupid <laughs> but anyway i do stay in uh like i said in this section here only because i know it i know the entrances i know how people move back and forth and you got it you can't in this game here i'm not sure it seems a bit weird i don't know if the spawn system is kind of whack-ass because it seems like people can spawn right inside your rectum. You know what I mean? Like, you're playing... I've even spawned, and it, I... It's unfair. Like, I mean, I don't even feel good about it. I'm like, haha, because it's a cheap kill. But sometimes they'll spawn you. Now, there's these... And these are, like, big maps. And they'll spawn you, like, right, literally right beside the individual. I think they just spawn, and then you spawn, like, right beside them. How is that fair? There is something seriously wrong with that that spawn system when that happens for the most part i haven't had too many problems uh free for all or deathmatch or whatever um but it, it can it can be problematic i mean i just find like people warp right beside me next thing you know i'm like why 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 did i spawn in an area where there's actually two enemies like i mean there's certain situations where the spawn system uh you know the program software that they use or designed really should not have placed me there but for whatever reason like i mean of all the places on the entire map the only place they could find me was between two individuals that are right there like that's insane and in terms of like the timing like oh well it happens in a split second yeah you know programming code <laughs> happens in split seconds there's no excuse for it but oh i'm always sneaky sneaky so this area here is really easy to control it's just i know I mean, like, especially with this corridor. It's Look at that guy. So bad, dude. When someone destroys your friggin' bouncing Betty right beside you and you don't react, you've got some serious issues. Now, granted, there is sort of um, reporting problems that your equipment, like, say, Claymores or even bouncing Bettys, although that one was, like, might as well been on top of his head. But there's reports that when the when the claymores go off, you're not getting feedback. Like normally for me, I use claymores as kind of sentry guards. You know, sometimes I'll put them in obvious places, but blocking certain areas, especially access to the bomb. If I'm if there's two access points to the bomb, I'm blocking one. I'll put the claymore in the other just so that I know that they have to actually destroy it. It won't be like I don't purposely make it like the most obvious spot, but it'll be a point where they're gonna have to actually shoot it and when they do what it does is it's like a an alarm system that goes off and it just tells you like hey dudes right there especially when it's a one we one v one situation knowing exactly even for just a second where the other player is is absolutely brilliant so that's helpful but in this game here for whatever reason it seems that the hit detection on you know when the claymores explode or even when the Bettys do that is not is not accurate like I'm missing some of the notifications and just like that guy although he should have seen like the explosion and the smoke or whatever like it was literally right beside him I have no idea how that guy didn't react but whatever maybe he's just inexperienced maybe he got maybe he was scratching his ball sack or something at the time and he was like oh crap I have this itch at the same time my Betty just went off so here we are I 
uh, here's the thing. I don't think I'm going to be going for any more MOABs. You've seen enough of them. You know what they are. You know, people are going to likely play and get a lot of them in Domination. Because let's face it. Domination, and this is the reason why I don't like it. Domination is really just... Oh, that guy was going to try and freaking slap me upside my head with his bouncing Betty. But Domination is just a place where... where gamers or directors now go just to friggin view whore like just to say hey look at how many kills i got there's nothing about showing tactics or hey this is me winning having a real good game of domination nothing like that it's absolutely nothing to do with the fact that you had a good strategic game or there was something there and your team was good it was an epic comeback or anything like that it's just like hey look at this slaughter fest i mean for me that's got to be boring there's nothing there we've seen so many high kills i mean we did that I don't know, and I'm guilty of it too, I get it, I get it. So for the ones that are new, you want to be able to say, hey, look how many kills I can get. And we did this, you know, NGT did this back in Modern Warfare 2, and it got boring pretty damn fast. Same thing is going on right now with Black Ops. You see so many videos, you know, predominantly, I'm not saying all, but predominantly uh, domination with just crazy kills. And quite frankly, it's boring. It's boring to watch. Nobody just wants to watch slaughter fest after slaughter fest. Once you've seen a few, there, you know, the first time you see one, yeah, it's pretty cool. You're like, whoa, like that's a lot of kills. How the hell did you do that? But game after game after game, you know what? Do it in something else. Get out of domination. You want to get crazy high kills? Let me see you get crazy high kills in any other game. I don't even know headquarters or whatever, or even anything else like team deathmatch show that you act absolutely dominated in that i know it's the other players are gaming and you can't get any more than 75 but who cares like show your show your abilities in uh, in other game types w with that particular style what i mean for high kill uh kill rates or whatever but anyway in here moab it's kind of like the nuke we're gonna see a lot of them a lot of people are gonna want to get their moabs if you haven't gotten one by all means get one the notable difference between uh, the MOAB and the Tactical Nuke is that the MOAB does not kill you, which is kind of nice. I mean, why why would you launch that? <laughs> you know what I mean? You would want to do a Tactical Nuke. You would launch it where everyone else is and not yourself. That's kind of like the Dumbass Nuke. They should have called it, hey, it's the Dumbass Nuke. You're going to fry yourself as well. Even though you're dominating, there's no reason why you'd have to kill yourself. You're going to do it anyway because it's tactical. So it's kind of nice to see that you actually don't die from it so good luck for all of you that want to get an moab try and find an area not not uh not camp in a corner because that's not going to work believe me you will not get attacked uh moab that way but find an area where you know the spawn areas you know there's limited access and work that area until you get it anyway that's my tip for you cheers